What's up guys? We are starting this month with a new quality of life update and it's massive. We have a bunch of new useful stuff and Lava is finally listening to his community. So let's dive in and see what's new. First of all, we have more filters so we can filter out those drops you don't want during the farming. He also added a split stack option which enables you to get the total stacks. So if you carry 1 million per stack, you can request 5 millions and it will split all these stacks into 5 stacks. It's pretty useful for certain stuff. You can now see what rank your death note is. Based on the color of your death note, the skull color will change. You can check this in the card section of your characters. You can now deliver all your statues with a single click, making it easier to empty your bank every time you gather those statues. In the anvil, you can now deliver your points by just holding your mouse button. If you're running low on money, you can now access the Worldwide Transaction Center from your quick ref chest. You can simply open your chest and you can transfer money from your character to the bank and vice versa. In the gaming screen, plants will not grow over your imports, so you can always gather these now. It makes it easier instead of moving all the time the imports in order to gather the points. The long-awaited return button for single captains has been implemented. This enables you to simply click on the trash button, followed by click return, and your captain will be returned to the dock. Once you do this, you can easily transfer your captain to another place. You don't have to bring all your captains back to the dock in order to do this. You can easily change the anvil production in the quick ref screen, meaning you don't have to go to world 1 all the time just to change these. We have now quick access from the stamp piggy. This feature is awesome. It enables you to access your storage without having to go all the way to the chest. What's even better is that the SIP system actually knows how many items you have in your storage and if you click on it, it will bring it directly into the bank location where you can just grab this from your bank. I think this is the best part of the update. Some other changes he made is he lowered the crafting requirements for the dementia items. You no longer need to make the platinum items to craft these. For the starfire pickaxe and others, he lowered the pearl shell items by 50%. This is awesome, it's gonna make it easier for those players to make all these items. And last but not least, some major improvements on the user interface for the forge and the shops. You can see this cool background and he also promised he's gonna implement more of these in the future. I personally like really a lot this black background on these parts of the game. Well, that's it for the update guides. Let me know which part of the update you like the most. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you guys on the next one.